welcome to my channel today I will be showing you on a few apps that I do use to do editing on the go simple and for free the one on my screen I'm not going to use this is just for the intro for me talking and as you can see in this picture this is one of the pictures that I did kind of edit on Photoshop so I don't do extreme editing because I don't like the look of the fakeness on some of the photos especially when it comes to makeup some of them look a little bit too fake and I do not like that um, I like mine looking more raw and realistic which is why I don't do much to it but yeah all these photos out there a lot of them are either photoshopped face tuned or something I'm gonna be honest with you and you could look up other videos and you're I'm pretty sure you're here because you want to know editors that are gonna help you out so Photoshop Facetune Snapseed and a Pixar are really great apps to have that I'm gonna be talking about in this video I'm going to talk about a few features that it has. I'm not going to go into full details. I do apologize for some of the crunchiness you might hear because of my microphone. So I do apologize about that and hopefully you like and subscribe. I really do appreciate that. You can drop down comments below. I will also drop down my Instagram link down below so you can check out my content and you can also send me a message, a DM to request anything you would like to see in my channel for future references. I do do makeup and tutorials and more. I will be popping out more tutorials on actual makeup now that I got a better camera. So hopefully you like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this app called Pixart. So go down to the Play Store or whatever phone you use and if it's available for free, download it. It's a must have. These little crowns on top right here mean it's a premium item and a premium item you do have to pay for it. So you can either pay for it to get more extra content or you can use the free items. And here in Pixar they have grid mode. So I'm going to grab a bunch of photos. I was just smashing with stuff. Um, a bunch of photos and just click them together. So in this grid mode, in the collage mode, you can do a bunch of creative awesome things on here. Let's change the color. You can also like do more thickness or thinness to the borders. I'm just showing you what you can do on this app. So this app has like all the uh, features of the collage mode. So if you want to show off your makeup for business or family photos, anything you want to do, it is a pretty awesome, really awesome app. Check the others even more. Story. So yeah, definitely try this app out. Twitter cover. Lines, it even has YouTube for like banners and stuff like that. Um, this is a really awesome app. Another thing I do like about this app, which is pretty freaking awesome, is you can add your backgrounds to your borders. You can also import your own photo if you click on that little plus right there on the side, on the left hand side. But let's get showing you the rest of this app and why it is so cool and amazing. So I'm going to click one of the photos right here, all photos. Here we go. I'm just going to click on this one really quick, just so you can get a glimpse. So the first thing is tools. This thing has crop, free crop. Dispersion, clone, stretch, perspective, all this good stuff. So in perspective, you can do all this. You just take a look at the tools really quick. Flip, rotate, resize, adjust, enhance, tilt, shift. A bunch of stuff. And then if you also want to correct blemish and stuff on your face, it also has the beauty. So here you can smooth out the skin blemish, hair color, details, eye color, white, and a red eye. Another awesome feature this app does have is the artistic stuff. Well, the artistic mode, all this great artistic things you can do to your photo. So you can use this for business, Instagram, family collages, portraits, anything you want to use it on. It is a very cool. This one's kind of awesome. The glitch is really awesome. Check that out. 
So I'm just showing you guys really quick. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about eh, sorry, detail about everything. This one right here is a definitely you should try. So if you're trying to add your Instagram logo or anything, these are stickers, these are preset stickers, and you can also create your own stickers, but I'm going to look up the Instagram logo. So Instagram logo, you pick any sticker you want, I'm just doing this for show, you know, just to show you guys. And then you can also add your name. This is mine for my Instagram page. I'm just showing you guys really quick. I want to change the lettering. Let's just pick this one. Color. So as you can see, you can also change how the lettering looks. Oops. There we go. So you can change that as well. Thick or thin. And then the blend or not. You know, you can like scrunch it. This app is very creative. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can also angle it how you want. But this is pretty cool. I'm just going to do this really quick. Doesn't matter. I'm just trying to show you guys. So the text mode is awesome. You can also add a photo on top of another one. So let's put this right here. This is one I already messed with. And you can put any word you want. You just get the thumbnails and, you know, making like your banners. Anything you want to do, say so business-wise or personal-wise, is a fun app to try. Another awesome thing is the brushes here with effects pretty cute and I also have where you can like draw on it you can also change the type of brush the sizing this is the regular brush and then you can also erase it all off to get rid of it they also do have borders you can also create your border like round or whatever. I'm just gonna keep that. And this draw mode, oh my god, you need to see this draw mode, the drawing mode. So the drawing mode is pretty awesome. What you can do in draw mode is right here. I'm gonna put for my you know, my Instagram. I'm just gonna change the color on it. I'm just gonna do like that. And so you can see it's like two colors and three into each other. That's pretty awesome. And you can pick any type of letter you want. I'm going to do this one. Once you click it, you can do that. That's pretty cool, huh? So pretty cool feature that this does have. You can also go back and erase it. And also the type of designs you do want so keep building through this with all the stuff they have it is pretty awesome see hurts everywhere you can change the size and everything i'm just showing you guys really quick of the stuff you can do and it does have like i said the frames and another cool thing you have is call up stickers just place that there you know you want to make your photo funny or anything you can do that Lunch flares. So this you can also adjust the size to these. Twist them however you want. This is just a quick of what this app does. A lot of the features on here, you can go through them yourself. Please do check it out. Go to the App Store and download Pixar. It is a very handy app, very cool app. So as you can see, it has that and it also has the grids and also the frames. So these are the frames in the app. And you can see the ad down there, you know, the, the thing for the three-day trial. So, please check out this app, it's pretty awesome, it's called Pixar, and it's very great. So, this is Adobe Photoshop. You're going to go into a file. So, this is my Galaxy S9 picture. I took this last night from this ramen place I went to. And... But I'm just going to show you real quick what this app does. You can flip images. 
and rotate. You can also do free crop and already presets as you can see. And right here, I'm going to adjust it, make it a little bit lighter. Maybe the contrast, let's see, a little bit lower and the saturation brighter. Highlights. So I'm just gonna click OK on that and just showing you guys. You can also do like these effects like liquefy certain areas you want to do. You can make it smaller and bigger. Oops. And just also reconstruct it. But I'm just showing you this really awesome map of what it does. There's a lot of cool things you can do, a lot of in detail you can get. So I'm going to zoom in on this and I'm going to show you what I'm about to do. So I'm going to make this a little bigger and I'm going to get remove as this part right here. Or try to. So this works for like any like cosmetic stuff that you have on your face. Like let's say if you got like a speck of mascara or you have a, a pimp on your face or something you just want to get rid of, this stuff would do the trick to remove stuff you know remove it like let's remove this little speck right here I just want to get rid of it see it's gone gone on the edge gone gone so let's zoom out before and after and you can see is what it does it also has a patch feature and a patch feature let me show you what patch does and just patch it I think I yeah so that's just something I'm just showing you really quick. And we've got the clone stamp feature. And the clone stamp I'm not going to do and show it on the video. But the clone stamp feature is you click on the area you want to clone. And it's going to clone the whole area that you clicked on. You can also restore it if you want to restore. So Photoshop is a really good at getting the details. Another awesome feature of this app, like Facetune app, is the smoothing feature. Like, I'm going to target this little area right here. It's smooth enough. You can make the smoothing harder. That sounds wrong. You can make the smoothing smooth, <laughs> the smoothing harder. And more, you know, pat. Putting whatever you call it. And as you can see, before and after. So this works for anything. Now, I'm not going to leave that on there. You can also sharpen. Let me do that right here in the corner when you see this highlight area. So, before and after, before and after. Let me make it, let me make it heavier so you guys can see because I don't have it enough. Sharpen. So, whether this is for a business, your makeup, Instagram, or anything, definitely use it. Also. It takes a little bit of time to learn how to use it, but it is a must have. You can see there is some more detail there. I'm going to make this sharper right here. I just want to show you guys. So before and after you see that, there you go. You can see it now. I made the image more sharper on the edge right there. Before and after. And I'm just showing you guys. I'm not leaving it on there. Another awesome feature this does have is the lighting effect. And like, let's say I want to do this light right here. Let me lower this down. Let me make this pretty big because I want to do a lot. As you can see, in the like half of it white, you can also darken it up. Don't worry about how mine looks, you can make yourself however. I just want to do this, and it also does the structure. So just go back. Well, I am, because I'm not keeping any of this. So the light feature does, you know, to do highlights, any of that, and this is one I love using. You can saturate the areas, just specifically, not the overall exposure or anything, so you can saturate the area. Ooh, I'm going to make this a little bigger, a little harder. I'm not trying to show anything like that, I'm just trying to show you what it does. As you can see that, it's sat, like, I saturated the color where I wanted it to, you know, it's ugly, but before and after. You don't have to do it like this, I'm just just a demonstration. So let's make this a little less strong and saturate this right here. And right here. You can also desaturate. 
it's a pretty awesome feature about Photoshop. So you can saturate the photo, you can take as much color as you want off. So if you want to take less color off, you're going to have to lower down a little bit easier. I saturated it way too much and it's not strong enough because I have it on such low for this one as you can see. But you get the idea. And then I'm just going to click it off because I'm just showing you guys. This is an awesome feature too. I know Facebook didn't have this one, but I like using this. I like using both of them, honestly. I'm just make this more noticeable. I just want you guys to see. So this is the defocus. As you can see in the background, I defocus that area right there. Before and after. Before and after. So I'm just showing you guys, and this you can also restore it. And if you want to add this cool little effect on your photo, you can use that too. You can change the radius of it, and also the shape. It is really awesome, so whether it's just for business or on your personal page, any of that sort, you should definitely download this app. It is for free, and it is called Photoshop Fix. It is for professional photos or Instagram, Facebook, family portraits, anything you want to work on. Photoshop is there for you. Photoshop has so many features from crop to adjusting the color, exposure, all of that good stuff. Check this app out. It is Photoshop and you can find it on Google Play Store. Guys, this is Facetune, and this is another app I use. It is free, so check this one out also. I still prefer Adobe <laughs> Photoshop, but this is free, and I'm using an example of a picture I took last night. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to crop this photo. Just showing you the features it does and this is why I don't pay for my I use mine for free but I'm gonna remove that I'm just showing you can just crop it and you can also rotate and do all this stuff good stuff just like the Photoshop one and also whiten the areas and everything I am using the free mode you do have to pay to get the ads off but you know I don't feel like it because I use the Photoshop honestly more you can add details also I'm going to zoom in so you can see. So this is before and after. So you can go in and definitely add details. But you can also go back and erase. Another thing I do like about Facetune is reshaping. So if you want to reshape a photo, you know, and just pinch that in, you could do that before and after and when you go to refine it's going to pull in the areas where areas where you want refined now don't follow my you know my tutorial here on what I'm doing because I'm just messing around showing you guys what it does before and after before and after before and after I'm just kidding so this does definitely does have features you can use it also has the patch which the patch here works like so let me see, I haven't really used a patch here anymore. You could just patch over the area of this one right here. So yeah, you could definitely patch. Let's see, I want to patch this right here. I'm just messing around and showing you guys. So if you want to get rid of like this little spike right here too, you could and see, it's already gone before and after, before and after. You can also flip it. But I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this app. They also have like the red eye to fix stuff. Uh, one thing I do like about this one is, just like the Photoshop, it does have a painting feature. So for this, I'm just gonna grab that color right there. It doesn't matter. And just use it on there. Can paint over stuff you don't want to do a harsh like mine because you will be able to see it and it's gonna look ugly but I'm just showing you like if you go really soft like this you won't be able to see it but if you go really hard and just move your finger in it's gonna look like that but this is before and after so I'm just showing you, you can also erase it but I'm just showing you really quick about this app it has 
Where is it? Defocus. Now to defocus here, I do like using more than the Photoshop one. So we're gonna defocus this background right here and the bottom. And we're gonna blur it too. I just want the top of this picture right here to look more sharper than everything else. So before and after, before and after. This works really well. Definitely download this one. It'll work really good, great together with Photoshop. So this has all these features. It also has filters. So you can click up or down. Well, drag your finger to change it. It has cool tones, warm tones, like all these cool filters to add. But I'm not going to use it. And then it also has frames. So whether you like I said before, you're posting on Facebook, Instagram, or anything more for your business, you can use Facetune with a combination of Photoshop and both work really well. They, some of them do have pros and cons of each other. Obviously, a lot of things do, but this one right here, you do have to pay to get the ads off, which is really annoying because it does pop up. Like, let me see if it does. I'm just going to do it really quick and just smooth out the whole thing. It does have a smoothing feature just like Photoshop. I'm just going to smooth out the whole thing. See, before and after, I just smooth it out. And I just want to show you guys. You see right there, this has their or watch ad. I'm just going to show you an ad. This one's for 30 seconds. This one's really long. But that's kind of annoying. And close the deal. And if you don't watch the ad, you're not paying for it then. Um, it is going to remove like the thing you did, I think. Oh, no, I did it. Ah, sometimes it does. And I don't. But it's not that it didn't save it at all. See? It didn't save it. So when you click back, it's going to go back to it. Overall, it's a really good app. It does have a lot of features to crop, to tone, white weight, or details, to reshaping. Now, the reshaping tool it is a very really great one to, like, if you were on next to big or something, you have to be very careful to pinch it and it will find it. And no one's really going to notice. So, yeah, these are really good really apps to have on your phone. So this is Snapseed, and in Snapseed, it has presets, as you can see here. Now, the Snapseed presets, you can't really change them. They're already fixed and set in place. I'm going to use that, uh, just the current one. So no, none. No filter over it, whatever you call it. Um, it does have the cropping feature, just like... Facetune and Photoshop, but I'm not going to use it. I just wanted to show you that tool. It does have a selective, so you can select the area right there. I'm going to select all this, and you can increase the brightness or lower it. And you can change the structure as well by putting, clicking your finger and moving it up or down. So Let's see, contrast. So where did you so where you selected it at? You can like pull the contrast up or down. So I'm just gonna pull it up on purpose. So as you can see, I did mess with the color there. That's not what it looked like before. And you can be very spot selective on this. So in case you want to fix an error, just like Photoshop, you can do that with the selective tool. So you can also rotate perspective, and I don't really use perspective, but that's pretty awesome. Check that out. So these are cool um, features that I have on here. But I'm not going to use it. And another awesome thing that it has is called Drama. And you can also lower the drama or higher it by moving your finger around. So I'm going to use this one just because I think it looks cool. And it has the healing. The healing feature it's just like the Photoshop and Facetune. See, I removed the spec, it's gone. I want to remove this right here to its little area. It is also gone. So this works for any of your photo that you're trying to correct. Um, portraits, anything, mistakes. I'm gonna remove that. So 
So I'm just showing you really quick what I did. It got removed. And then I'm clicking back. As you can see, it is that little speck is back on the whipped cream. Not gonna go into full details. I'm just showing you what this awesomeness does. So when you go into this one and uh, this one, it's just gonna do the overall picture. So contrast, pull it up, ambience, warmth. See, you can see what's happening to the photo. And this is a free app. I'm not trying to make this picture look you know, pro or anything, it's just to show you what it does. You can also add graininess to your photo or anything you want to do. And then it also has a thing called vintage. So it adds like this, you know, nostalgic kind of look to it. I don't use it too much, you know, just to mess around with things. But you can try messing with all these features yourself and find out firsthand. It has the black and white feature to turn your photo black and white. And it also has frames, just like Facetune. And one thing I love that I use a lot, now this is really good if you're using for logo for your Instagram or anything or your business. This is a really handy app, you know, it's free, it's on your phone, it's time to go, so it works out. Just change that, check that out. You can change the text too. This is what I was using on my Instagram for a bit to put my watermark on it, but I stopped. And I'm just gonna move that there, you know, I'm just gonna put that there. It also has lens blur. You can like move the radius of how you want the lens blur. I'm just, I'm just messing around with it so you guys can see. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you get, the, you get the idea. So and this app has a lot of awesome features. And this Curve app, like if you move around the little dots here, you can add more by just clicking your finger on it. You can change the composure of what you of where you chose that to change. What I mean by that is that you could change the coloring or what you want to pop out more. Add lighter darkness. You'll just figure it out once you start messing with this app. It is absolutely free. Um, compared, well not compared, next to the Photoshop that I said earlier in the video. Photoshop and Facetune. This is also a must-have editing app to have on your phone. These are on the go. I know there's too many apps to add to your phone. You're like, whoa, that's too many. Why do you have so many editing apps? It's because honestly, I do use them for different things. They have they every app just like a camera or something has its pros and its cons. You know, you can never have 100% one. And honestly, I'm not just gonna use Facetune for something or Photoshop. Like some people can do that, but I don't personally and this has a lot of features as you can see here it is a very awesome app you can also add details well the structure and you can change in sharpening let's see I'm just gonna pull it up all the way just so you can see and once you're done you can export the photo so this is just showing you what this app can do it is a pretty awesome and these are the presets from before and I'm gonna choose one just to show you guys. There we go. So this is a preset from before that I just put, and this can be used for multiple thing, eh, things, not things, I don't know why I said that, that you wanna use it for. Just check out all these features. It also has brushes, I forgot to mention that, for dodging and burning and all this. Let's see. Dodge and burn. As you can see, I'm changing it. Now, you don't have to use the dodge and burn feature. This is something like you're going to find out when you're messing with this app in general. 
This is a demonstration. Now you can change it to saturate also. This is, this fold is all kinds of ugly. <laughs> I just like made a Frankenstein out of it. Everything is beautiful in its own way. Don't judge me. So yeah, you can also change the temperature, everything. I'm just messy with it so you guys can see. Exposure. You can up it or make it lower. Eraser. It you know, it's just what you want to mess with. So yeah. So definitely check this app out. It is free. Go to the Google Play Store and download it right now to add it to your editing editing apps.